This is a video for Physics 11, and we're looking at the effect of charge and distance on electrostatic forces. So I've taken a balloon here, and I've rubbed it with a woolly hat. This wool is from a real Nova Scotian sheep. So we've moved some electrons around, and these have opposite charges. So when I bring my hat close to my balloon, you can see they have an attractive force. And the closer I bring my hat to the balloon, the stronger the force is. So the stronger the attraction as we get closer. If I take a second balloon and I treat it the same way, I'm going to rub it all over with the woolly hat. So these balloons will have the same charge and when I bring the balloons with the same charge close together, you see we get something else happen. They repel each other. So the same charge will cause a repulsive force. This is something we don't see with gravity where things are always attracted with mass. But if I have the same charge, I repel and I can force them away. Now you can see my string here is being attracted to my balloon. The string has a neutral charge, so let's look at that next. So you might remember the old birthday party trick where if you rub your balloon with your hair, you can make it stick to the wall. What we've done is we've induced a charge and caused an attraction to a neutral. So let's look at what's happening with, with our balloons and our, our sweater situation here. So this is the FET simulation, balloons and static electricity. And you can see that everything in this picture right now is neutral. Our positive charges and our negative charges are balanced. So when I take my balloon and I rub it on my sweater, we're using a sweater here instead of a toque, you can see I've stripped the free electrons off my sweater and given my sweater a positive charge. And my balloon has a negative charge. And you can see these opposite charges are definitely attracting each other. Okay. If I, let's reset everything here now. So if I have two balloons, take the wall away. So I'm going to give my yellow balloon a negative charge and I'm going to give my green balloon a negative charge and I can see that they are repelling each other. The like charge is repelling the other like charge. They are not going to get together but they will still be attracted to our positively charged sweater. And also, when you were a kid, I bet you remember rubbing a balloon on your head or on a sweater and sticking it to the wall. Now, the wall has a neutral charge, but you can see when we bring our negatively charged object close to it, it repels all of the free electrons, and we make a zone here where it's a net positive charge and they will attract each other. And that's why your balloon will stick to the wall for parties. Okay, we have induced an area of positive charge in our wall. So we've looked at attraction and repulsion and we are going to eventually get down to doing some formulas with this. So we're going to be, first of all, talking about electrostatic forces. The little Q is for electrostatic. And it depends on a constant. In this case, our constant is K. And our two sources of charges. And the distance effect is actually 1 over the distance squared. Now we can plug in values and, and do all kinds of things with these, but the big thing I need you to remember is we have to figure out is, first of all, what's our direction. If we have 
something that is positively charged and something that is also positively charged, they are going to repel each other. If they are both negatively charged, they're also going to repel each other. If our forces have a like charge, or unlike charges, so if I have something that's positive and something that's negative, they are going to attract each other. So you need to figure out what direction things are going before you get messing around with your formulas and plugging things in and finding values.